Hi again, uh, here we are. Now we're going to do a little bit of talking and painting. So we'll start off with uh, a very loose painting again. And we're going to use uh, this brush and we're going to do it in a loose fashion. Okay, so the idea is to do it with hardly any detail whatsoever. So our main paint will start with the sky and it's uh, a bit of blue. I've made a little bit a little bit pinkish. Now it mustn't be too detailed. That's one thing for sure. We want to be detailed. Now that's a little bit of a warmth and then a little bit of sienna into it now keeping it as though it's a, a loose painting on no details if you can help it no details at all We put a little bit of strength into it here and there. Because it's a beggar for drawing a lot lighter, you know, watercolour. That's it. Now, most of his paintings were a failure, so you would say, and he threw more away than were winners. So, we have to throw a painting away, don't we? But to try and rescue a painting is not good. If, you, if, it's, uh, if it's not good and it's not so good, don't try and rescue it too much. Mix your colour, put it on and leave. You try and rescue it and usually it's a failure. Anyway, there's only raw sienna in it and ultramarine with a little touch of alizarine in it to give this it's like a a mauve color or a purple cast now i've done that to have it like that so now i'm going to use the same brush then again we'll use the ultramarine again same color again today and we'll just see if we can put a nice low hill at the back down there. Same colour. A little bit of more strength into it. Now by keeping to the same colours, you save yourself a lot of problems. Now you can add a little bit of raw sienna now see and because it's part of the colour you're using it anyway so that's the a distant hill there see with a light 
hill there in the front part of us. Just a nice light hill. We'll add a little bit of umber to it. Delicately. You just can't keep going over. Now what you can is just uh, bring a little bit of dark in. Patches. Like so. Same colour again, the blue. Just a little, you can put a little bit of raw sienna. You've got the three colours the blue, ultramarine, the raw sienna, and the little bit of alizarine. Yeah? Keep it simple, right off of it now, of these squirrel brushes, so we'll do the same, and that seems, okay, well that goes to a point, fine point, so we can do things with it, uh, show you what I mean. Still with our umber, the umber which of course is an earth colour, add a little bit of raw sienna which is an earth colour, and just a little bit of your ultramarine to get it down to a dark brown colour, similar to this. Now just try it on the first of all and just see the depth of it, uh, really that is about a nice depth of colour, tonal value to be in that area, eh? like that. And here, yes that's okay, coming along here and along there. that field over there, see. This field here now, we're making it into it. Now at this here, I'm going to do it a little bit darker. That's your umber and your blue. And that should get you a little bit darker, like that, see. Okay, so that's uh, coming across there. And that's there, see. Right, now then. We just try that. Just touch the cut across there like that, see. Now I'm going very lightly now on here. Bit of blue, bit of brown. Now 
Now what I've done here, bring it a little bit more darker undergrowth, just there, see. Now I'm staying with that same colour, that depth of colour. And this is a, another tree just to there. So this is another here of area of Now there we are, see like that. It's something, just something very plain. Not a lot of in it. But it, uh, it's, I think it's nice to look at in, in a way. I don't know what you'd say. Uh, it's, uh, it's an illustration in a way. Now, if we're going to mix a green, we have to keep within the same colours. So what were they? Raw sienna and ultramarine. Okay, there we are. Now let's just have a see and we put one here. Now it's nowhere near dark enough, so more ultramarine in it. And you can put raw sienna into it now. And you can put a, I don't mind you putting a little bit of cad yellow in. You've not gone into any other yellow, so another cad yellow good strong blue so we have a little bit of a green coming into it so let's just see i'm just putting a little bit of a greeny cast in it deliberately because it's it's got green in the paint we're using. I've got the raw sienna, I've got the ultramarine. So I'll have more ultramarine. A bit of cad yellow you can put in. Because your raw sienna is not a strong colour. So we we'll just look at it. I'll look at it for depth. Oh no, it's not strong enough. Let's try some other way. All right. Perhaps we should try burnt sienna. And Payne's grey. See if we can get down to the darks more quickly. So here we are. Oh, touching it there. Now that's a little bit darker, isn't it?
Right, so uh, it's a simple one. So I can, I'll just dry it off. Thanks for looking in everyone. Oh, I'll ask you, uh, like Benny other said, uh, what's higher purchase? The purchase made higher for budgies. What's an asset? A baby ass. What's ascot? 
a baby ass's bed. Why do cows have bells around the neck? Because the horns don't work. Thanks for looking in everyone.